be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm actually going to be mixing a Chris Brown type beat in Logic Pro 10. So let's go ahead and get it, man. First things first, you want to also, you know, put your, you know, import your files back into Logic Pro 10. Um, I'm pretty much going to be using some audio files. I went ahead and set the BPM to everything to match up. And so what I'm going to do is is pretty much starting off with the uh, hook or the part that has the most instruments and sounds. That's where I'm going to start mixing. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to just um, arrange this beat. Like when I say arrange, it's kind of get everything in order. So like get my like drums at the top, you know what I mean? And then um, my melody at the bottom. And that's just like organizational type of stuff. Just like for me, that's kind of how I do it. You know what I mean? You can choose to do it vice versa or whatever. It doesn't matter. But um, what I usually like to do is just go ahead and just start off by group grouping um, the drums or bussing them, you know, you can, you can group them, but I use, I can send the signal to an available um, auxiliary track, and I do the drums and also do the melody that way. All right. And then we got melody, and then once I do that, I'm pretty much just gonna take everything and bring it all the way down to zero. All right, and then from here, I'll just start with the melody, just bringing that up some, and then start like bringing in certain, you know, uh, drum parts. So once I kind of just get the levels where I want them, you know what I mean? Um, from here, I can start working on like panning and then also adding like subtractive EQ or, or using subtractive EQ to make room for certain instruments in the mix. So I'm just going to go ahead and start on the panning. As you notice, I'm just panning like, like I'm not obviously not panning the 808, the kick, um, clap, you know, and I kind of try to keep the main melody in the middle. Sometimes I will pan that. So now let me go ahead and actually see what else is going on in on, in this track because I don't want to miss anything. I'm actually gonna go and take this loop and put it somewhere else and see, like for instance, some of these other instruments didn't come in.
bad. So like once I went through all the, the parts of the song, let's make sure everything's good. Now let's start on the EQ. I'm really not gonna EQ a whole lot. Um, really just kind of come over here to this main melody here. And I'm gonna put an EQ on there. So we're gonna do a high pass filter. Basically, what that's doing by using that high pass filter is cutting out the lows to make some room for the lows that are in, say, like the bass instrument or the 808 kick, stuff like that. So, I mean, I, I can put it on everything, but the main thing is like the instrument sounds are going to be like going all the way throughout the track. Now, I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to put it on like the hi hats as well. Just do a basic one, but usually the hi hats kind of like are hitting right around this area 2k to 10k so this should work basically and I'll put one on this clap and the snare and then I'll be done as far as the EQ Some other things we could do here is use compression um, to make certain things stand out in the mix. I don't think that in this particular beat that I need to really do a whole lot of that. So I'm not. And then I'm going to also say that we could use some type of reverb here. Now, what I will do is go ahead and send the uh, reverb this way. So basically, I came over here. I'm going to put a reverb on this auxiliary track. And then put the turn of reverb like, like this. Now, what we want to do is like listen to this on different speakers. Um, we want to look to listen to this on different speakers or whatever. Um, just to kind of demonstrate that though, I'm, I have this plugin that I do use a lot, and it's called NX Ocean Way Nashville. And so, this is just supposed to basically demonstrate or emulate being in this big boy studio out in Nashville. So we're gonna use this to like kind of get an AB on the mix real quick.
All right, y'all. So pretty much what I wanted to do on this mix is um, <coughs> my bad, y'all. So I wanted to make sure that we could hear everything without it peaking or, or, or crackling or anything like that. I wanted to make sure it's, it's clear. Um, so that's why we're going ahead and also A, B, the mixes with um, or, or, you know, do the mixes with different environments and stuff like that. Now, you do want to also use what's called a reference track. I um, don't use that. Um, in the video just because you know um, copyright issues but reference track is basically a, uh, a track that's already mixed to mastered or whatever um, so we could use that to take notes and kind of come back to the mix you want to make sure though you do turn off this Ocean Way Nashville plug-in after you get the AB on it and then listen to it again you'll, you'll hear it sounds a little different so let's check it out So pretty much, I mean, that's pretty much it, man. And then what I do at the end is to just to make sure that nothing is peaking and all that good stuff. Like we can come over here with these aux tracks and just turn that down some. I usually like to like make sure the mix is like under negative six D B type. Y'all, I think this pretty much is gonna wrap up this mix, man. It's uh, we're obviously gonna go ahead and need to master the beat and everything like that, but I think that the mix is pretty decent. Um, we can hear all the instrument sounds, you know what I mean? Um, there's some panning there, some stereo depth to it. Um, you did see me come in here and put this like spreader tool or a spreader plug in on this clap, you could put that on other instruments as well. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just to add, like, certain effects or whatever. But I use it sparingly. Thanks for watching, y'all. I will see you in the next video. Make sure you go to my site, BeatMakingBasics.com. Check out what we got going on over there. And if nothing else, get subscribed to the channel route.